She's new for 2023, but yeah, it should be a little fun video today. We're going to talk about some stain removal, some stains that happen with my Barbie. So it should be a fun little video. I thought we could just do a video and just hang out, you guys. Hopefully you will enjoy this video. I'm going to wait till about the one minute mark. I'm going to give people at least a minute to get here, you know. So, I think it should be fun. It's, it's going to be a fun video. This is a made-to-move soccer player, which is, I mean, um, volleyball player, sorry. And I still have the one with the caddy coming in with the in influencer, um, YouTube influencer Barbie doll. You know, she's supposed to be giving a tutorial, I guess a hair tutorial. I don't even know whatever situation that is. But it should be fun, a fun, fun video. Okay. Cool, we got one person tuning in. So I'm gonna show you the guys this. This is the volleyball player. She plays volleyball. And this Barbie is a volleyball player. I'm really, really excited. Now, the picture shows really long hair. So we're gonna see it. Looks like it's supposed to be down to her butt, but mm, maybe not. I don't know, we're gonna see. We're gonna open it with you guys and have fun. So, yeah, I'm not. 100% with the Maid Smooth dolls. Sometimes I buy them because they're cute, but I'm not really. I know a lot of you guys love the Maid to Move and the Articulated dolls. I'm old school. I like the Snap Lake Barbies. That's, those are my favorite. I know a lot of you guys like these, and I buy these occasionally. I don't really buy too many Articulated Barbies, as you may notice on my channel. There's not a lot of Articulated dolls in, on my channel, so I don't think... Well, we got lots of articulated dolls to show you today, so I think this would be really cool. It says 2000, it says 2022 Mattel. Hmm. So it's been sitting in the warehouse for a long time. So this is the new um, volleyball player, you guys, okay? This is new for 2023, I guess you could say. So that should be, it should be a really fun video. She's a volleyball player with no net. It's just amazing how she's going to hit with the imaginary net that she does not come with. <laughs> it's like, yeah, girl, we got you. It says it's made to move, so we're gonna see. I'm sure she's got them joints. I'm not really a big fan of these made to move dolls, but I know a lot of you guys are. I think they're cute. And I don't buy them that often. I buy them like occasionally. They're not something that I buy too often. I like them, but I'm not in love with them. Like I love rubber snap leg Barbies. Those are my favorite, personally. And I like these dolls. I do have some in my collection. I do have some made-to-move dolls, but not very many. She's going to go with my other dolls. I have a baseball player. I have, what else? I have a skateboarder. I have a lot of made-to-move sports-themed dolls in my collection. So she's going to go with my other collector dolls that I have on my shelf. So we're going to review this. And she's going to go on my shelf with my other sports, sporty girls. I'll show them to you one day. I have a lot of made-to-move um, sporty type dolls. These are, these made-to-move dolls have a very athletic body. And they do not look good in dresses and heels. It looks like a robot in, in dresses and heels, basically. I don't know. That's the best way to not can explain it. So it is a Millie, you know, the plain old... Merely like they always do. There's nothing really special about her. She's just a blonde Barbie. I'm going to talk about some stain removal that I have to do this weekend, which will be fun. I like doing stain removal. Not really, but I have to because i got two articulated Barbies that are stained. And I'm going to tell you why, too. It's going to be a whole situation today. You should be able to leave comments down below, hopefully. So you guys will have fun. So I bought, got her from Amazon, who, maybe a week or two ago. So it took a minute for them to ship it out. So that's fun, right? We love an articulate Barbie, of course we do. Some of you guys do anyway. I think they're cute. Occasionally I do buy them, okay? These stupid plastic, I hate, these are things that are devil right here. I hate these things. Why do they put them in the head? It's ridiculous. Like, sometimes they don't even bother to brush the hair. And sometimes I'm even surprised when they do comb out the hair. Okay. We have our volleyball, you know. You know, it's a, a really cheapy, plasticky volleyball that she can, she can hold, but 
she doesn't come with no volleyball net, so I don't know how she's going to play volleyball. I think they should have maybe made a play set that sold separately, like a volleyball net for your made-to-move dolls. It would have been really cute. This makes no sense to me, but it's cute. And don't roll off the table. They do have a B on there, of course. It's, you know, Barbie. Right there, it's very, very faint. I think, in my opinion, if I was the designer, I'd do a volleyball-themed Barbie, Ken, Christy, and Teresa, like a whole line of volleyball dolls, and then sold separately, I would do a volleyball net that you can pretend play to hit the ball back and forth. I think that would be a cute idea. This doll does not come with accessories, nor do they sell any type of volleyball net. So that's something that they could maybe look for in the future that maybe collectors would want to that maybe collectors might want to buy in the future. So she looks she looks really tall. These dolls always look athletic to me, okay? She's got a oh yeah, she looks why does she look so tall looking? Do you guys think she's tall? Yeah, they have weird seams on there too. Yeah, she looks like she's is this a new Barbie body? Is she tall? Look how big she is, you guys. She's got a huge long neck. Oh my god. I have an articulated doll. I might have to do a little comparison video for you guys. So this is a made-to-move, you know. She's got the made-to-move joints, I think, let's say. And yeah, she's got the bulky, robotic made-to-move joints that are just, they're okay. You know, they pose and things like that. Um, this is a blonde Millie, of course. And yeah, she's kind of basic, kind of cute, but they have new volleyball net. So she's cute, and she's got long blonde hair, and she's like a volleyball player, which is adorable. And the made-to-move dolls, to me, are very, like, athletic type of doll. I don't know. So let's get you guys a good close-up for you guys. She's a blonde Millie. You know, there's nothing really special about her. She's cute. I think she's adorable. For kids, yes. Adult collectors are going to be like, eh, she's okay. It's another Millie, you know. That's what. That's the way I feel about it. They do have Velcro in the back. It, everything's stretchy, spandexy, book sock. They just, I don't know why. Oh, look, she's got a... A made to move stomach joint too. Look at that, so she can go side to side. But I mean, she's really pretty. She's just a basic Millie. There's nothing. I don't know. I don't think they come in any other eth ethnicities. Yeah, they do. So they show a black girl and they got a white girl. Apparently, on the front of the box, they show a black girl and they got a white girl. So they do have a black version somewhere. I have not seen her on Amazon. I just seen the white version. So you're gonna have to look on Amazon for preference. And hair texture and skin tone, you're going to have to check out Amazon and see what they have, okay? She's, I don't know how to explain it. She feels hollow. Is that a strange thing to say? Let's put her next to her. I know they made to move doll because I have another one. I think she's taller for some reason, is she? This is a yoga doll. No, she's the same size. I think it's, I don't know if it's her neck or something. It just, she looks taller on the camera for some reason. But she's really cute, I think. I'm going to be collecting her, so she'll be sitting on the on her little area right here with all my other girls. You know, she's a blonde goddess. She does have long hair, so that's a good thing. Like, if you guys love long-haired Barbies, you're really going to like her. She kind of reminds me of the doll that's in the wheelchair, honestly. They have a made-to-move doll that's in the wheelchair. Um... And it kind of reminds me of that kind of doll. All these Millies are starting to look the same to me, in my opinion. But there's her little screened on face. You can see that right there. All these Millies are starting to look the same to me. They need to remanufacture that superstar face because the Millie is getting really old very fast. I'm saying that too. Uh, these knees, these knees are a situation that you're going to have to take into consideration. If you like these made-to-move dolls, these are knee protector things. What is going on right here? Yeah, these these made-to-move dolls are just, they're very robotic looking. They're very action figure meets Barbie. That's why I'm like iffy about these dolls. I like them. They're cute. But I've always been like, mm. There goes the little volleyball. Okay, but we're seeing the volleyball already, right? She's cute. It says number 59, it's B, of course. And they do have a black girl, and I have not seen her on YouTube. Um, she just, I feel like she has a really, 
She's got articulation, which is great, but I feel like she has a really long torso area. Something about her's off. I don't know how I don't know how to explain it, you guys, but she looks like she's elongated more so than just the standard made to move yoga doll that they released. You know what I'm saying? She looks like she's just maybe it's the shirt or something. Like she looks like she's got a longer torso. It must be the shirt then, I think. I don't know. But I think she's cute. I got it from Amazon. This is the new 2023 Barbie. I mean, she's cute. Screened on eyes. Um, pretty good articulation. She's nice and flexible. So if you guys love articulated Barbies, you're really going to like her. I'm 50-50 with articulated Barbies because I feel like they always look sporty. No matter what, you can put them in a dress and heels. And they look like they're going to play a soccer game or a baseball game. That's what... That's what these dolls always look like. They're very, very sporty. They don't look good in anything else but sports wear, you know. They look like action figures to me. Sometimes they look very sporty. No matter what, to me, they always look sporty. They do have a baseball player, I think, this year, too. Or a tennis player. Who is this girl? Yeah, this is the tennis racket girl. She's an... Um, She's uh, Asian, and she's like a um, tennis racket girl. They also have her on Amazon. I've seen her. Um, but it's, I don't know what to say. They, they give you a backing of some type of thing. But what I would have done, honestly, is I would have done like a whole line of like volleyball players and then sold separately a volleyball net and had with the volleyball net little stands that you can roll around that way they can pretend and hit the ball. That would be so cute. Like, and they'd have a whole um umpire station sold separately. Like a play set. You know what I'm saying? They need to include play sets. They're just releasing a volleyball player. They're just releasing a baseball player in. And like the karate girl that came out, I have her also. And they don't have any play sets to go with these dolls. So, I mean, they're cute. But they need play sets for kids, especially. Adult collectors are not going to care about the play sets. But kids, especially, they need play sets to go with these dolls because it, for it to make sense. Because right now we have a volleyball player with no volleyball in it. Okay, Mattel, just listen. Just figure out, Mattel, some way that you can create a volleyball net for these dolls. Just to make them more more you know there you know you know what i'm saying like you know what i'm saying you guys they need a little something something to go with these dolls these kids are not going to know what to do with these dolls because they have no volleyball net now some kids i do know are very very creative in terms of figuring out what can go where you know i don't know i don't remember how much i paid for because i bought her like a week or two ago, like I pre-ordered her kind of situation. Like I knew she was coming out, so I pre-ordered her on Amazon. But I think she's cute. I mean, she's a basic Millie. She's on Amazon. She's got pretty thick hair. So the hair play is definitely there. She's got a choppy, layered, you know, situation because she's just, you know, cut all over the place like they usually are. There's her long hair. I mean, she's cute. But she needs definitely some type of play accessories. Maybe they could have made her, okay, just hear me out, Mattel, okay? Make her multiples, okay? Include a soccer ball, include a tennis racket, include a basketball. Why, why do they keep recreating these dolls when they can just include multiple accessories so she can do multiple things? She could be a basketball player. She can be a tennis player. You know, she can be a soccer ball player. She can be... A volleyball player just to include the balls with the dolls and she's already in her little sporty gear so why not include multiple play sets for this one doll instead of keep releasing the same blonde barbie over and over and over it's just i don't know i would design these dolls so bad so much better i would come up with so much better ideas okay so i mean she's she's cute I would recommend you get her. She's very, very adorable, and she's got long blonde hair, and she's really cute. I'm going to be putting her with my collection after I find the ball that has just decided, whoop, rolled off the table. You know, it is a very hollow plastic, but, I mean, it does have the little thumb thing, so she can actually hold it, but what she's going to do with it, I have no idea. It's just like they have no volleyball net. So, I mean, it's cute for what it is, but she needs accessories, you guys, in my opinion. Just FYI. Okay, I think she's cute. We're going to get on to the staining 
Barbie staining, you guys. I mentioned this in the in the beginning of the video. So if you, um, I think she's cute. I would recommend her. So let's move on to the staining dolls. Okay, we have a staining situation. Okay, I got something to show you. So these dolls have been in a drawer with a knockoff Monster High doll. Okay, the knockoff Monster High, like the cheap Monster Monster High doll stained my made to move dolls i was very very surprised let's see i don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this let's see where where's it at i can't even see it it's so faint so i've done the oxy treatment twice so far you could see like there's gray right here on her hands and there is gray let's see right here you guys can see that there's gray staining and I know all about the oxy treatments. So that's what I've been doing to her. So she's got gray, a gray streak right there. And where else she had it? She had a gray streak right there, and she had a very, very faint gray right there and right there. You could see it right there, hopefully. You, hopefully you guys are seeing that. But so this is the oxy treatment I've been doing. I've been doing it without the sun, and I need to do it with the sun. And I think that's why it faded it just a little bit. And I think with the sun, it will fade it more. So I never noticed how dark her joints are compared to her body. That's crazy. But I've been having her for a long time. This is the yoga Barbie that's currently available at Target. But so she does have some gray staining on her. I'm going to show you the doll in a minute just to, if you have her, just avoid contact for long-term periods with your Barbie dolls. Because the dye is bleeding onto the Barbies. The Barbies are absorbing the dye from the doll. I don't know if it's a dress or whatever, but... And even this one, I, I, I've been having this one for a minute, too. You remember when I did her review? Let's see, where's her, where's she at? She's got staining right here. There's some gray right here. I thought it was the doll. Maybe the doll was aging or whatever. You see that big old gray stain right there? Just very predominant. You could see it right there. The white is from the OxyClean that I've been using without the sun. I know I need to use the sun, and I will be doing that this weekend. But I just wanted to show you this. Um, there's staining right there. And this is from the knockoff Monster High doll. So keep these dolls away from your Barbies if you do not want to get them stained. If you bought the Monster High dolls from Amazon, and they look how cute these braids are. i just got to show you this. I braided this a long time ago, and she's been sitting in the drawer. I don't think I've ever shown you guys this, but I did braid her hair. It's cute, huh? Because they were getting like, it's, her hair is crazy and it was getting tangled around her earrings. So I just kind of braided it straight back, you know. So Miss Thing right here. So if you have this Monster High doll from Amazon, keep this away from your Barbies. This dress... So I was trying to figure out, I don't have anything else gray in my drawer, but this, this gown or dress with these little hearts and things like that, the dye from the dress bled on even to this Monster High doll. Do you see this? So it did stain the Monster High doll also. So I'm imagining that the dress was probably like this or something like that, you know, and it did stain the knockoff also. So this dress in general did stain the knockoff doll. You could see it right there. And I think it was something to do with this dress, honestly. Because it has some staining right there. And I don't remember if she had any staining just in general. You know what I'm saying? When I first got her, I don't think she had any. But we have some gray right here. And it's definitely this gown in general. So this gown will stain your Barbies. So keep these away from your Barbie dolls. So if you have these knockoff Monster High dolls and you have them stored away with your Barbies, they will stain your Barbie dolls. So just keep be careful, you guys. So if you have this one in particular, or if you bought any of the other ones, I would check your monster, check your Barbies, because this this dress is bleeding. The dye is coming off of my hands apparently, but it's bleeding dye from the gown onto the dolls. You can see it's like gray hearts and weird colors right here. But you can kind of see it that it's crazy, dude. But so I just want to put this warning out, that, out there for you guys. This, this doll is non-toxic, but at the same time, she is a knockoff. She's not of quality, made of quality products, materials in general. So they make things out of cheaper fabrics and the dyes do bleed. And this is why I do not put knockoff 
Barbie clothing on Barbie dolls because if this kind of stuff happens, you know, it bleeds onto the doll. So I don't know if I'm going to do the Oxy treatment on her. I probably will. You know, I'm going to take, I'm going to squirt some Oxy stuff in a baggie and just kind of rubber band it and put her in the sun. And that'll be a weekend project. So we're going to leave these girls right here for right now. And this will be a little weekend project. This thing always, do you guys have this doll? Does your dolls do this? Look, it's like bunches. It's so weird, but yeah, so she'll need a little oxy treatment this weekend. So I did do it twice already. This is without the sun and it did fade it slightly, but this one is just like, it's there. So these girls will need oxy treatments probably this weekend. But until then, they are just going to chill out in the house. Of course, I'm not going to put them, I'm going to cover their body and their hair. Everything will be wrapped in a towel. The only thing that will be exposed to the sun will be the affected area. That's one thing I could say, like, I'm going to protect her face. Everything's going to be wrapped up. And the only thing that's going to be out is her little hands that are affected with the black. So she's, this is a, this is a really, really cute doll. I think she's adorable. I've been having her forever. She's been in a drawer just being stored with this doll caused this, um, this staining, but this doll is completely stained too. So it's really a shame to say that, but she's stained. Cause this is the only thing that I have that's this grayish black weird color. Cause these dolls are stained with gray and this, this dress is gray and this doll is stained black. So I'm like, oh girl, you poor thing. These are really, really cute knockoff Monster High dolls from Amazon, but they do stain your dolls. I so will be careful with that. She's going to have to be packaged separately now. I'm going to have to put her in a separate drawer, I think. So I thought I'd let you guys know, you know, to warn you, do not store your knockoff Monster High dolls from Amazon with your actual Barbie dolls because they will stain. I mean, I'm just going to let you guys know I have my OxyClean. I got it. I know what to do. You know, I'm going to put them in a baggie and just let her do her thing. Cook. We're going to let her cook. Because I'm telling you, you guys, this stuff works. Oh, my God, when you do it right. I had a rubber snap leg Barbie with a tinsel green stain on the back of her leg. I put this stuff on her, put it directly in the sunlight, covered her up, and just exposed her stained leg. When I'm telling you, this got, you guys, this stuff works. It's so good. It's amazing. So I'm definitely, definitely going to be doing that this weekend, you know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to upload it. Don't worry. So if you just tuned in, I'm going to upload it so you can see the whole video. But if you guys are having fun, leave a super thanks down below. Um, it's a money donation to this channel if you choose to. This channel is completely free. There's no membership, no nothing. I just do this for you guys. And I hope you guys have a lot, a lot of fun. Um, I will be doing the influencer youtuber type barbie doll that they're coming out with pretty soon that's going to be next month on the 10th i think i think she comes out and i'm keeping an eye out for you guys so i'm gonna let you know if i see the new barbie the new barbie with the pink and white swimsuit i'm keeping an eye out for her you guys don't worry i'm looking for her so if you enjoyed this video, just remember to like and subscribe, and you'll see more doll videos. Bye.